Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us again in your lounge today. Man, what a, what a week it's been on so many levels. Obviously, um, the big talking point is the lockdown and all of us are in our homes. This morning will be day three in lockdown. I hope you're feeling all right. The cabin fever hasn't kicked in yet. We're going to have to work hard on our relationships and family dynamics. What a blessing from God that we get to do this over this time. And then on a one hope um, level, there's some great things that have been going on this week. Um, Bernie and Priska are now Bernie and Priska van der Merwe. They were married on Thursday evening just before the lockdown. It was really beautiful. Just a small intimate wedding. There's another big celebration to come in a few months. But for now, just the wedding part was just 15 or so of us and just really beautiful. And then we've been contending. Some of you would know this from messages I've sent out this week. Um, for Joel and Sarah Cunningham, little little girl called Ella. They used to lead our student team and um, they live in Zimbabwe and Bulawayo and she's got congenital heart disease and needed open heart surgery and our father has just opened the most amazing, miraculous doors um, to get that little girl into a hospital in Johannesburg and they didn't want to accept her because of the coronavirus and a 14-day um, quarantine period but thank God um, that they allowed her in and she's had her operation. She's still struggling but is stable and so please can I ask you to keep praying for them. Guys, God bless you as we worship together this morning. Then we're going to look at His Word. I want to encourage you just to really try and engage with worship. I know it's a bit odd singing with words on a screen but stand up, close your eyes, lift your hands if you're comfortable to do so and let's really worship our God. In times of anxiety and trouble we see the psalmists and others in scripture turning to praise and turning to worship God and so we join in a long line of saints who've done this and lifted their eyes and their voices to God in the midst of trouble. So let's do that and worship together this morning.